Hi, in this video, we're going to take a look at some of the things you could try to fix your Samsung Galaxy S5 with starting issue. Now you can see here, the phone just uh, simply keep restarting and uh, it's basically stuck in a boot loop. Now there are come a number of things that can cause your device to keep rebooting and one of them is the hardware problems. Uh, sometimes it could be just the power button or simply the battery at the back. Sometimes it could be uh, faulty apps that you have installed and that cause the phone to uh, keep restarting or maybe a glitch in the software. Uh, perhaps uh, a bad software can uh, cause um, the cache data to corrupt on your device. In that case, you will need to wipe the cache partition. And another thing is, um, is a firmware corruption. So if you uh, update your firmware and in the process, if something goes wrong, that can cause a problem also. So let's try to fix uh, it by uh, uh, doing some of these uh, following things. Now the first thing you want to do is to check and inspect the power button. Uh, pressing it, you see if it click. If it doesn't click, or if the uh, power button is stick uh, to the heart, to the um, to the button inside, then that basically means that uh, it keep pressing on the power button, and your phone will essentially just keep restarting. So definitely just uh, press on the power power button to make sure it clicks. If it clicks, mean that uh, after you press it, the button release, and then uh, it will not uh, continuously uh, press onto your uh, onto the button. Another thing you may want to do is check on the battery. So here you can see. If I press on the power button, it clicks and it turns on, but it still keep restarting. So a lot of the times, it could be the battery is the problems. So what you would want to do is try a different battery. Now I know you may not have a spare battery laying around. So if you could um, find someone, someone else with a similar phone, ask them to for the battery and just try it out because this one you can easily take it out of the case and then uh, swap it over otherwise you can get this battery online uh, very cheap and then you can try it out here I have another battery that I can try it out luckily so I'm just going to put it in and then press on the power button and then turn it on and see if it's restarting in this case you can see the phone turns on and it's not restarting. So we have uh, confirmed it is the battery is the problem. This battery, while it looks uh, in good conditions, however, the internal component is damaged and causing the phone to uh, uh, continuously restarting or stuck in the boot loop. And here it is, it's booting up right now. So we have confirmed it's the battery problems. Another thing you might want to check is the spring. On the power button, you can see um, I just wait until the phone switch off and I'll show it to you. Now you can see at the top of the battery here, there are contacts for the battery. Now these contacts here also act as a spring. So you can see if I press it in, it moves in and out. They are act as a spring to keep the battery in place. Over time, this spring may become loose and down here the battery become loose. So what happened is the battery kind of um, not very tight and in close contact with the spring like that. And that caused the phone to um, restart randomly. So that is another thing that you can try is, uh, if that's the case, try to put a piece of paper or something down here. You can see here, I can move it up and down. So try to push it all the way up and then put a small piece of paper down here just so that it doesn't slide back down and that will hold the battery uh, in close contact with the contact up here. That is also something that may cause your phone to keep restarting. So yeah, definitely check that as well. Okay, another thing you can try is to wipe the cache partition and this will uh, clear up any corrupted cache data. Next, press on the power button. So. What we're going to do now is press on the power button, home button, and the volume up key. So three of these uh, buttons need to press at the same time. So press and hold. Now press the three buttons simultaneously. Wait until you see the Android logo appear. So wait, continue to press. Now let go of all the buttons when you see this screen. Now you want to use the volume down key. So we're going to go down to wipe cache partitions. So press on the volume down key 
and then go down to wipe cache partition there it is and then press on the power button on the side here and select and then press on the volume down key then press on the power button to select yes and at the bottom here you can see it say wiping cache so wiping cache partition will not uh, delete any of your data on your phone it's simply just uh, wiping the cache memory and then now press on the power button to reboot system now now go into your phone and see if it's still uh, stuck in the reboot loop okay if you still have issues and your phone still keep restarting what you can do is try to um, reset your device it's back to factory settings now resetting the device will cause you to lose all the data on your phone so this is uh, totally uh, your call it's up to you if you uh, decide to proceed ahead here's how you can reset the device again we need to go into your android recovery uh, menu so press on the power button home button and volume up key uh, all at the same time press and hold so let's get ready and go so i'm going to press on the three keys so press and wait continue to hold continue to hold now let go and then press on the volume down key to go down to factory reset so you can see there it is it's a factory reset right there so at this uh, point you want to press on the power button then press on the volume down key to go down to the yes option then press on the power button to select and at the bottom here you can see it's a formatting data so uh, once you get to this uh, point it is uh, uh, at a point of no return so all your data is now gone it's formatted and then what you can do now is press on the power button to reboot system now and see if that uh, fixed the problems with your reboot issues and uh, hopefully one of the solutions uh, can help you out and uh, if still it doesn't help then it could be a really serious hardware problems that you may need to look into and that's it thank you for watching this video please subscribe to my channel for more videos